Hello everyone, welcome back to some more cards action. Now, as always, five games. We're not deviating from the, the standard here. This time we are going to play a little more Haymaker deck. Um, I've been wanting to tinker the deck a little bit more, see to, if I can make it a little bit more viable. Um, with that being said, I haven't done any changes yet since the last time around, which is why I want to play five games, see how it performs, and try to remember um you know what were some uh weaknesses of the deck so first game here against britain we'll drop everything except the flampanzer and the joint operation because if they're playing air flampanzer is pretty good with that arado's actually really nice too to defend against some bombers early game Give me a bomber. No. All right. So I am thinking that's actually a perfect draw. Now I'm thinking we're we're potentially dealing with um, maybe commandos, which playing against commandos is super fun with this deck because uh, everyone has got a nice big booty. So the you know the one damage pings don't really affect our units too much. I say this as I play a uh, X1. But trust me, the rest of the units, pretty big booties. We make it clap uh, when it comes to Haymaker, that's for sure. Yeah, and I think here we're just going to be okay with the Congo line of 30 seconds here. Potentially still playing against Commando, we'll see. Two honeys. It's powerful right there. Not gonna deny. Um, we're actually gonna take this opportunity to kill one of these. And draw a card with Dorado. <clears throat> Next turn we can trade off with Dorado, move our 30 second up front and just continue the endless march of X1s. <clears throat> I lied. We are doing no such thing. Actually, Yes, we are. This, this, this. Next turn, I think I bring up my infantry. I play the Catalina and just start drawing some cards here. Assuming he just replays the uh, Seaforth Highlanders. Okay, I respect that decision, but we'll be able to, nice play here is the Catalina can put these back on top of our deck, which essentially resets the, uh, the credit cost, uh, nullifying that scary deployment effect of the Black Witch, which is nice. Assuming this survives, which, you know, I haven't played anything that demands an answer until the Catalina, so I wouldn't be surprised if this survives. Noise. Oh, this is a beaut here. So we will put this back. And I think, honestly, we just get in there. Uh, let's keep the board down here. He didn't play anything last turn to deal with the Catalina. We did overdraw, which is not the greatest. Uh, but next turn, we can put in a Panzer Grenadier, get this double strike, and really start to to hit the uh, hit the HQ for some chunks of damage. Oh no! Okay. Oh, this is awkward. Um. How do we want to do this? This is, this will be five to get up here and deal four, six. How do I want to play this? So 
So I could do this. Get rid of this. And let's play the Jasko, because if he plays uh, bombing, we lose the Catalina and the Panzer Grenadier, but we still have the Jasko. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't play the 32nd. And that is fine. Uh, let's play you. Let's play you and let's play you actually. Start seeing if we can take some units out with the Ju 88 and uh, pull up that value here. So he's, he's definitely playing some sort of a controlling deck, which we have to keep in mind. Ooh, that's rough. C'est la vie. It's another C fourth. Do we care about that? Um, let's just play two M4. M4 A1s and see how things go. <clears throat> Ooh, spicy. Four credits left. Ooh. Not feeling good about this. Um, so that being said, do you die? Nice. Uh, we will play this, move this up. Play another one. Yeah, let's play another one. Five, sure. Let's try to keep... He's at f four cards, unless he's got some card draw. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I can't see him finding a way of getting through to the G88, although with one HP. Yeah, Monty. That's a rough one, but what can you do when you live in a shoe? Oh my lord. That makes me sad. I assume he just takes the M4A1 out here. Really? Oh, uh, wait. What? What could he have? I am at a loss for words. That's for certain. Why wouldn't he kill? Hmm. What was the purpose of that? Right, so we know he's got a uh, Sherman in there, which doesn't scare me too much. And I think we start whacking here. And just pass the turn. There is a... Uh, yeah. That's okay. Ooh, that's I'm not gonna deny that spicy. So four, seven. Yeah, we'll just uh, uh we could save that.
Sure, let's save that because we can then patent or three eleven. That's eleven all there. So we can uh potentially get out a uh a blitzed Panther G and, and go up to the front line there. So we'll hold on to things here. Oh. Oh that is pretty rough because we can move that forward. I think we do that. Yep. Uh, get in the freight. And then I think we just play another. We could also get in for f six. Sure. Let's get in for, for six there. And there is a. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna gump out the uh, muck up the front line because at six life we've got a panther that can take him out with these three cards. Um, so he's really got to find a way of taking all of this out. It's one way to do things. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. All right, we still have it here. As long as I did my math right here. Patton. Get this going. Beautiful. All right, so pretty well executed game, I think. Um, I always felt like I was in a good position, which is always nice to see. So that's a big W. Let me just put that on the scoreboard here. Let's start looking for a second game here. So some of the things I was um, kind of seeing if we can tinker around is just the big boys that we have. Um, there's that bomber that the U.S. has um, where they changed it a while back that allows it's a five five credit uh, bomber that essentially um, requires the opponent to pay two extra credits if they target it with a deployment effect or a order. So. Um, Hmm, Patton. Do we go off on it? No, let's, let's drop everything except Flampons in case they're already. Um, so I'm wondering if I can find a way, if that's a card that should be in the deck. Uh, having that built-in protection and then buffing it seems pretty nice. It's a slow hand, so I'm not looking too... doesn't look too... Uh, oh, we've already found... Oh lord, we've already found um, some value for the flampons, which is nice. And we have no other place, which is not nice. So, wait, there, I just realized they're playing Russia with mobilize. I'm, uh, huh. Not sure what to think of this. Well, I think we just start uh, pegging some of these things down. Next turn, if he doesn't answer the Flampons here, I think I move it up and trade with the uh, the Parachute Brigade rather than play M4A1. We got a nice little two-for-one. Obviously, it costs us some uh, tempo so we get to that point. All right. Yeah, so this, this looks like an M4A1 play next turn here. Hmm, interesting setup here. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Carl, you have me flummoxed. That's for sure. Might just take this opportunity to kill the M4 with the two T70s. Yep. Maybe not. Okay, yeah. 
Well, I'm going to take that trade if he gives it to me, which he does. Um, I think we're, he's the aggro in, in this matchup. So if I can get to the late game, I think I have a much better chance of closing out the game here. So we're going to take care of that first airborne with Flampanzer. Um, and depending on how things shape up, yeah, get rid of this. I think we play the Hellcat. We can do some really nasty things next turn with it. Uh, by giving a double strike. So it becomes a 2-3 and then a 3-4. Um, let's see what he... Uh, yeah. Oh, if it survives, obviously. That's one. I assume another one's coming our way. Unfortunate. Yep. I think, yeah, we just... just get this going here if he doesn't have an answer i can start killing his units and uh putting them on our team which would be pretty nice if it survives it will not it will not Unfortunate. Uh, so here, we could try to build up to nukes, which maybe I, let's see here. He could develop his board, yeah, but then what am I playing? I think we just try to clear. I move up the chain. That's one, two, five, six, potentially. Ooh, this is tough. Everything else pretty much just gets eaten. Uh, sure. I don't think... Getting a credit ed smoke, allowing him to kind of develop the board is what we want to do because we don't have any board clear. Uh, I think we need to put some sort of work towards something that allows us to get there. Yep. Fair enough. Will it be too late? Oh, it's... Let's take our advanced research here. Plop down one of these guys. Um, even if it eats up, it may just eat up Katsuya, but hopefully it eats up both of the RDs. Um it's not looking too good right now. I see. I would have attacked with the Katsuya first. See if the trigger gets you uh, some extra value with the AA. That can be focused on HQ instead. We're at 10. Ugh. Got so many cards in hand. So, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. If he triggers, but I don't think we have any other plays to make here. Um, because if he, there's no other way to, to do it, so might as well just go for the. Uh, the big bombs here and cross our fingers that he doesn't have a way of uh oh but this gets plus one plus one never mind eight nine ten maybe he messes something up here 
I think he sees the play, guys. I think he sees the play. Oh, he's getting fancy, which probably is not a yeah, it's not a good idea here. Well, an L would just uh just got uh had the board wiped on both sides and just had too many you know large plays, nothing to really get us uh started back up or engines back going, so unfortunate. But that's how it is sometimes. So one on one, so not doing too terribly. Um, I would, I would like to end the session um, for one, if possible, because then it means whatever tinkering I do, it doesn't have to be too much to make uh, that kind of work a little bit more efficiently. Three two means it's you know a good base, but needs some effort, and then you know two two, sorry two three and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, one four is where you really start to <laughs> question if the deck <laughs> has some legs on it. And uh, I think we've played a bunch of Haymaker games and beforehand, and it definitely seemed like it at least had a good base here. So not not expecting anything in those dire ranges. All right, AKA or Akka. So put everything back here. You need some early, early plays. Yep. What I'd love to see here. Unfortunate. Mind you, 32nd is really our, our only early play, quote unquote. There's only four of those bad boys. So 10% of the deck is that card, which isn't a lot. We're playing the passing game. Uh, I'm assuming we're playing against ramp. I am a dumb, dumb, bum, bum. We're not playing against ramp, but I don't know what we're playing against. Hell, M8, uh, M18 Hellcat and the Center for Tree still trade, which, you know, not the most efficient of plays for me, but um, it keeps the board if he's playing this, I'm assuming he really wanted, you know, some sort of a one drop for some early aggression. Or maybe this is just a good old value 3 4. Excuse me. But, uh, even with daylight savings time, I just didn't get enough sleep yesterday. Yep. Let's see what else he plays here. Nothing. Well, I'm going to try to kill it. And was successful. And I think I just play another one because I, next turn, if it, this doesn't die, I can potentially, hopefully, move it to the front, play M4 Sherman, and just build the board and build my hand that way. But that's unfortunate, actually. But we'll play the next big thing here. He's played one death from above, maybe he doesn't have another. That's rough. That is rough. I think here we actually can we do everything? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four. Okay, I can do just everything. Not something you see every day, but I need the F6, F Hellcat uh, to start triggering my Sherman, because I, I think having this in hand just... Oh. What can you do when you live in a shoe? Left three up. I'm just going to play the M4. Um, I'm scared of a couple countermeasures. One being uh, the one that triggers when an enemy hits their HQ. Okay. Does he leave three up again? He does not. Hmm. 
I think we just... Who? What was his thought process? Maybe he just wanted me to spend the credits going to the front. Yeah, I'm not too sure. All right, this is actually really nice because we can pop this up. And I think here we'll just see if we bait out anything. No, we do not. Um. Next turn, we've got lethal here. We've got not, well, you got lethal with this and if this one survives, a lot of options for us here. Yeah, and he attacks the, the one that we would have cared had it not been for this and this. Nice. Two, three, what I like to see. Sorry, two, one. Hopefully not end up on a better score than two, three here. All right. Game four, feeling pretty good. Uh, definitely enjoying something about getting big boys and, you know, doing big chunks of damage rather than, uh, you know, the game of uh, a thousand dying by a thousand cuts or killing by a thousand cuts, I should say. Facing Yuki. That's a little bit of a behind the scenes for you guys. Uh, the name of my cat is Yuki. That is right. I am a crazy cat person, and the name of my cat is Yuki. Uh, we will keep the patrol. Something tells me he may be aggressive. Having drawing the uh, second or second, third, or fourth uh, thirty-second infantry naturally through some other card draw never fun but c'est la vie here mm, we're doing the endless march so me i wonder if he's playing the japanese pin deck potentially he's got two sudden surprise attacks now and i think we can do better than uh you know, triggering the deployment on uh, Type 94 on the field. Yep. So. We know he's going to use it on this, right? Yeah. And as unfortunate as this is, I think we just like this uh, you know what save ourselves to life by doing it beforehand uh, gets rid of his deployment effect so we are quite efficient and we find a way of uh, saving ourselves some damage here please survive please beauty we really wanted to get this going and pop one of these so he, I know two of his cards are the sudden strikes, so he can auto kill the Sherman if he wants to. Yeah, that's a good flan panzer uh, target. Yep. Yes. Correct. These are all things that you can do, sir. Look at that, and I think. I think we get rid of this just uh, to potentially um, get some more rising, get some rising sun stuck in his hand, which hopefully is the case here. Ah, unfortunate. We still kill it for what it's worth. Nice, very nice. Pop it, and let's get this going. I think. Next turn, go up to the front, uh, kill the T Takasaki, potentially whack him for six, depending on how he plays this here. Sendai, yep, yep. Can't kill the Catalina, so we'll, 
you know, we'll just try to brute force something to stick on the field here. Can't target that. Can target the Catalina. These are all very nice. Let's actually, you know what? Let's save this for next turn. Because I think we're going to be doing some nonsense here. Playing this. Playing the Panzer Grenadier. And I don't want him to take the Hellcat, so we will. We want to save the Hellcat, right? Uh, yeah, we do. So you're out. You're out. Next turn, we were hoping to for him to get rid of the 109th, but it's it's not the worst. Uh, to lose. Uh, the Ju88, uh, because we've got that other, um, haste unit. We're we're just trying to gum up the, the front here. Yeah, Catalina had to go. Catalina had to go. Um, so I think here we go. One. Huh. So we can trade here as well, get rid of the double strike, um, which means you attack. I can still do that though. Unfortunate, but we get to do that. Um, I'm hoping, beyond hope, he doesn't have another Sendai or some way of killing the airborne because this is a really nasty unit to deal with when you're playing units. Yeah, there's a nice two for one here. Or not. I do not know about that. Yeah. I don't know if he wanted to do that, but we... We will definitely start to uh, continue trying to keep the board at a reasonable uh, position for us. All right, so he probably do that oh okay do you die you do not die yet you do die if I press this which I think I need to or else I get uh... we're just letting everything rip here um, giving him the ability to pop off on us um, <laughs> we need to Yep. That's a nice one. Yep. Oh, holy cow, that is lucky. Uh, let's just do this as safe as possible here. Do you? You? Whew. That is a W. Thank the Lord. Three and one. We might actually get that four one that I was hoping for. That was a 
that was scary with that fame retreat. I won't even lie. All right, fifth final game. Hoping for that W so I can impress you guys with my abilities in the computer collectible card game cards. All right, final opponent here. Oh no, hamster himself. This is all pretty strong. I'm okay with all of this. <clears throat> Congo line commence. Um, so that when we get to the later portion, we hopefully have something in the front for Sherman's. Incorrect, that one was sick. It's okay because he's got friends. And this is the dance floor right here. And they know the one, two step. <clears throat> oh, he might be. Oh, no, no, but he's Russia primary. Hmm. Not too sure. Not too sure. I'm okay with this. We're we're dropping Sherman and getting some uh, some stuff happening here. So I'm spoils of war. I'm thinking this is the uh, <laughs> the, the what cards intended. Uh, deck of the uh the katusha you know otk mind you i'm a guy that plays uh plays uh baby combo so what do i know wait they were going to die next turn. Who are they? No. He would have had to use them, so... I don't know what I'm doing here, I'll be honest. Yeah, get in there. Sure, you too. <laughs> I'm so discombobulated because I know I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'm probably mere moments from getting absolutely obliterated here. Eh. Could be worse. Let's get this bad boy going. Next turn we can juice him. Start dealing chunks of 8 damage. I'm trying to force this guy to use some of his resources to keep the ball. Never mind. Board lo Oh, God. <laughs> it's not looking good, folks. With that being said, we are definitely gonna start whacking here. Sure, let's get a Rado there just for more potential damage. Actually, that's lethal if he doesn't to kill us. Eight, nine. Never mind. I meant to do that on purpose. Lethal, I meant. Oh. Uh, okay, you know. I can live with that. Unfortunate, but I can live with that. Oh, never mind. We don't have it. Can still do a ton of damage. Yeah. All right. Hamster, you're at three. Facing down a lot. You've been able to search for things. Do you have it? So you have... All right, that buys him a turn, right? Three. 
Sure, we will play a Jasco to see if that makes any type of difference. <clears throat> Uh oh. Oh. Okay. This is actually pretty nice because we will do this. And find a way next turn of going off here. Let's do the four damage as well. We're protected from uh, Nardi here. And I think next turn we'll be able to find a way of squeaking through that last bit of damage. Still have it here. Still have it, son. Four, eight, twelve. Oh, we just made it a little bit more fancy of pushing him up. Awesome. 4-1. Wonderful reminder that Haymaker is fun and strong. Um, hopefully you'll see the deck in the next set of series when I've done my tinkering. And we'll see if, uh, if I've made it worse or better. All right, guys. Take care.